Hey there, it's Heather Hakes. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing with you the seven hermetic principles. We're going to deep dive these so I can share with you how you can apply and implement these into your life and totally change your reality. Before we dive in, I want to first offer you a free video training on how to reprogram your subconscious mind. You can grab it in the description box below and also directly on my website, heatherhakes.com. All right, let's dive in. Today, I want to share with you the seven hermetic principles. I first stumbled across these a few months ago, and like anything, I live in curiosity. I wanted to know more. So I, I read the book, The Three Initiates. I, I did a lot of research around these seven hermetic principles, and only to find out, just like many of the universe laws, this has been around for ancient period of time. What I want to share with you today is I want to break them down into simple digestible means so you can understand that, but more importantly, apply and implement these to your life. Once you wrap your head around these and actually use them to your benefit, you can transmute and become an alchemist of your reality. So let's talk about the very first principle. The first one is mentalism. And mentalism simply states, all is mine. Have you ever heard the idea that life is a projection of your internal state, that life is literally a mirror? What you are thinking about and focused on internally is projected externally. That alone, I want you to understand, that's why they, we, you know, you hear in law of attraction that thoughts become things, that life is all mental, that what if this is all a big dream or that you're watching a movie screen sitting in the theater? That's what I want you to realize that life is mental. It's never happening to you. Life is happening through you. So that alone, the very first principle, life is mental. All right, now I want to move on to the second hermetic principle, and it's simply correspondence. Think of it like this. As above, so below. As within, so without. Now, this is where the idea of the mirror principle actually comes into place, that everything going on internally, what you think about, what you focus on expands. You've heard all of this before, but that's what I want you to understand by the, the hermetic principle correspondence, as within, so without. Now when it states as above, so below, there's it's also broken into three different planes, the spiritual, the mental, and the physical. Here in 3D, we live in the physical environment, but the plane above it is the mental and the plane above it is the spiritual. So just understand that whatever's going on internally, if you're focused on the good, you're going to get more of it. If you're focused on lack, scarcity, not enough, you're going to get more of that because as with in, so without. Whatever you think about, you bring, up, bring about. Whatever you focus on expands. Now, here's where I love to bring in the idea of the mirror principle, the same exact thing as within, so without. If you don't like your current external reality, if you don't like your current results, you don't go up to a mirror and smudge the reflection. You have to change the reflection, which if we go back to the very first principle, mentalism, you've got to change what's going on internally. You've got to change your mindset, your mental state, and your internal state is made up of three things, your thoughts, your emotions, and your habits. Those three things are creating every outcome in your life. So when you understand this and you put these into play, these two alone, mentalism and correspondence, can completely shift your reality. So what I want you to understand, take a step back. Because the first step to creating change in your life is awareness. Take a step back. I have a free resource on my website called the Life Assessment. This helps you literally take an assessment of all the major life buckets and figure out what's working and what's not. Then you can use these principles, the law of correspondence, to realize, okay, if I change how I am being internally, how I'm thinking and feeling in my habits then everything externally, the projection will change along with it. And I'm telling you, this is 100% true. Put yourself on an experiment. But that is principle number two, correspondence. As within, so without. All right, now I want to move into the third hermetic principle, which is vibration. I love Nikola Tesla's quote on this. But before I share that, the hermetic principle simply states that nothing rests. 
everything moves, everything vibrates. Now, Nikola Tesla's infamous quote is, if you want to know the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Now, we're talking about vib vibration right now. Think about literally everything you've heard of high vibes and low vibes. Everything vibrates. And when we're talking about the law of attraction, wanting to manifest or bring more things into us, you are emitting your own vibrational state by your thoughts and feelings. I love how Dr. Joe Dispenza explains that think of your thoughts as the electrical charge putting it out, but your emotions and feelings are the magnetic force drawing it back to you. So it's, it's the cycle, which we're going to move into next. But think about that alone. Nikola Tesla is saying, if you want to know the secrets... Think in terms of energy, frequency, vibration. Now, this is where you can think of a radio station. Let's say your current life, where you're currently at, you're emanating 93.3. But the things that you desire, the things that you want, more money, better health, better relationships, more abundance, ease and flow, that would be on, let's say, 100.1 or 101.1. That's a real radio station I know locally. So if you're vibrating at a 93.3, but the life you want, the experiences you want are on this 101.1, how do you close this gap? You literally have to attune, change your frequency, change your vibration to emit a higher vibe. How do you move to a higher vibration? It's literally thinking and feeling different. Now, this is not fake it till you make it. That'll never work. It's about embodying it, embodying this change, embodying thinking and feeling different until you literally raise your vibration. Now, like attracts like. That's why the saying is, you don't get what you want, you get what you are. So you want changes in your life, you literally have to start vibrating at a higher level. So again, this hermetic principle vibration, nothing rests, everything moves, everything vibrates. Now, have you ever seen those vibra vibra vibrational plates where little sand crystals are on? And depending on the hertz, the frequency, it's different geometric patterns. The same thing in your life. The lower the vibe, the slower, the more dense. So think about that as uh, lower energy, fear, worry, anxiety. That's very dense, low, heavy vibration. But the higher you vibrate, love, gratitude, joy, inspiration, that moves much faster. It's a much higher vibration, which is a more complex geometric pattern. So just like that vibrating plate, you are your own vibrational frequency. You want different outcomes? Raise your vibration. The next hermetic principle is called polarity. So here's what I want you to understand. In this 3D realm, what we're currently experiencing, think of everything as duality. We have polar opposites, right? Hot, cold, night, day, up, down, left, right. Let me share with you what her, the hermetic principle states. It says, everything is dual. Everything has its poles. Everything has its pair of opposites. Like and unlike are the same. Opposites are identical in nature, but different in degree. Extremes meet. All truths are but half truths. All paradoxes may be reconciled. So let me explain this. On a very easy term, we can think about temperature, right? So we have polar opposites. We have hot and we have cold. But at what point does hot become cold? It's simply a varying degree. 76 degrees might be considered hot, where 73 degrees might be considered cool. But temperature, it's the same thing, but different degrees. Now, same thing with emotions. Love, highest emotion you can emit and vibrate. Fear, lowest emotion. They're simply different degrees. They're polar opposites, love and fear. But at what point... Do they, do you move away from love and closer to fear and, and closer to love? It's simply just think about this degree, the sliding scale. Another way to think about this, let's, let's think in terms of money, abundance and scarcity. It's the same thing, right? We're talking about levels of money, but difference in degree. So again, kind of like the hermetic principle, we just talked about vibration. If you want to change where you're at on this pole, on the sliding scale of any area of life, you want more abundance, less scarcity and lack, you have to move up the scale. You have to move up the pole by raising your vibration. 
The next hermetic principle is called rhythm. So let me read to you and, and what it shares. According to the hermetic principles, here's what rhythm is. Everything flows out and in. Everything has its tides. All things rise and fall. The pendulum swings manifest in everything. The measure of the swing to the right is the measure of the swing to the left. Rhythm compensates. So here I want you to think about the ebb and flow of life. If you ever find yourself on that roller coaster of emotions, you're up and you're down, you're up and you're down. Nature naturally finds harmony and balance. And we as humans do too. You might find yourself on that high, your stress and burnout going all in. And then you have to course correct because it, it's rhythm compensates. It wants to find that balance. So then, you, you know, you, you might get hit at some point nature will hit you to stop that momentum of stress and burnout because it needs to keep you safe so it'll bring you back down so what i want you to understand that that here's the good news if you find yourself in that low the pendulum will swing to the left at some point you will swing back to the right but you also want to learn to live in more of a harmonic state so you don't have those highs and those lows, the ebbs and the flows. You can find this fine dance of, of just swinging a little to the right and a little to the left. Now, this is not being unemotional. You want to experience the joy, the gratitude and the goodness. And we're humans. We're here to experience sadness and grief, too. You just never want to stay stuck too far in either extreme because Rhythm will compensate. That's why they call it a pendulum swing. It wants to find balance and harmony. So what you can do by this is self-regulating. And the easiest way for that is your emotions. Your emotions are your check engine light. Your emotions are your indicator of where your thoughts are. If, if your emotions are all over the place, then you're going to be on this constant pendulum swing. You want to be able to find this fine line of harmony, and balance, harmony and balance. And you do this through self-awareness, through meditation, through presence practices like breath work. But just know this, that the ebb and the flow, natural, natural part of life, but you want to be able to find that fine line so you don't have to have the, the two polar opposite of the extreme. You kind of want to find that fine line in the middle. All right, we're down to our last two. The sixth hermetic principle is cause and effect. Now, this kind of ties back into the first one, mentalism, but here's what I want you to understand about cause and effect. Every cause has its effect. So think about your mental cause, right? Think about the root cause. Everything, mentalism, right? All is mind. Everything begins in the mind. So every cause has its effect. Every thought becomes a thing. Every effect has its cause. Everything happens according to law. So what I want you to understand about cause and effect, there are no, I don't believe in luck. We Luck doesn't happen for some. People are doing things very intentionally and on purpose. When you understand you are the cause of every effect in your life and every effect in your life first came from a cause Again, we can go back to the second hermetic principle correspondence as within, so without cause and effect. If you want to change the effects in your life, you have to change the root cause, which is internally, how you're thinking and feeling, your habits and your emotions. Just remember this, every effect has a cause. Go back to the root cause in order to change the effects in your life. The final hermetic principle is gender. Now, we're not talking human biology, female and male, but I want you to understand gender when it comes to hermetic principles is simply that gender is in everything. Everything has its masculine and feminine principles. Now, here's how I think about the law of gender. Think about a riverbank. We need the structure. Think of that as masculine energy. We need the structure so for the river, the water to flow through and have somewhere to go but the flowing is the feminine presence the feminine essence but we need the masculine structure in order to flow where we direct havoc so we need these yin and the yang a life the masculine and feminine another way to think about this is via your conscious and subconscious mind your conscious mind is the analytical logical processor but the subconscious mind is the in, intuition and where things are, quote, birthed from, but you need both together. So that's why you, again, back to rhythm, even you've got to find the balance. 
you can't, it, you can't always be pushing. That's what happens with stress and burnout. So think about even the law of gender as finding that fine line of doing and being. Now you can't just sit around and, and the feminine essence and like law of attraction, right? The last five letters are action. You can't just sit and be. There are times of needing to do and you can't just always do because you need times to be. So just understand gender. We need that feminine and masculine principles and essence in everything and find the harmony and the balance. If I could easily sum up these seven heart matter principles, here's what I want you to know, that you are the sole creator of your reality, that life is mental. When you understand that and that life is a mirror, what's going on internally will be reflected externally in order to change the external, change the internal. This is simply brought about through self-awareness, through being able to regulate your emotions, breath work, feeling present, and, and not letting your emotions rule you because that's when the pendulum swing happens. Put these into play. And I would love to hear from you. Which of these seven hermetic principles are you going to apply first? And just know that these all seven of these move and run together. So if I were you, I would listen and watch to this again and start putting this into play. Start understanding you are the cause of every effect in your life. When you stand back and learn how to self-regulate and you're intentional and mindful with your thoughts and emotions and habits, your entire reality will change. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you're the first to know when new episodes drop and give me a thumbs up. I'll catch you on the next one.